Hey guys, Punisher88 here with a, another video for you guys. So this time around, I'm doing a I'm doing a comic book review. Actually, it's more like comic books. But anyway, the two books I chose were sorry, Life with Archie number thirty six. And Life with Archie, number 37. They are both the variant covers. So, number 36 is a Ramon Perez cover, and 37 is a Jill Thompson cover. I, I like 30, uh, 36 more, because it has that 50s Life magazine look to it, which is actually the main reason why I wanted it. Plus, also to read it, you know. Um, so, the story itself, without, you know, well, okay. Um, Life with Archie number 36 is the death of Archie. So, I'm just throwing that out there for the ones who haven't read it. Um, I'm not, or I don't want to give too much or anything of the story away. Because, I mean, where's the fun in that? I actually want you guys to actually go and read it for yourselves, you know? I, I don't want to be a spoiler of saying, you know, oh, this happened in the story and that happened. No. I want you... I, I'm the type of guy where I'll read it for myself and then I want you guys to go out and read it so you guys can form your own opinion, ideas of what you guys thought of the story. So, what I will say is, uh, issue 37, also, let me just get one thing out there. Um, prior to this, I've never actually read a Life with Archie comic. I've browsed through digests waiting in line at the store, but I mean, the actual Life with Archie comics, I've never actually read any before issue 36. I know the story, because I mean... It was so huge. I mean, it started in 2010 with the whole, you know, Archie's finally getting married and, you know, who is he going to choose? And it was a whole big, I mean, it was in the newspaper even. And anyway, and I think, I think in the end, he ended up choosing Veronica. Excuse me. He ended up choosing Veronica in the end and I think a lot of people got mad about it and so I guess the writers or whatever what they decided to do with since there was, in, there was so much negativity in that was um, they decided to split the story into two separate universes so you had the Archie married Veronica universe and the Archie married Betty universe so and then I think down the road in one of the other Life with Archie comics I think there was some big big thing and both universes combined or something so again my, I don't know but I could look back on that and check for them at a later date <laughs> um, the story itself was good I liked it a lot there's a lot of reflecting in it and there's a very good build up to the main event at the end and I, I thought they did a good job the writers did a good job at that um, Actually, finding this comic now, I don't know. I mean, again, it all depends on the different comic book shops out there. Some of them are different from others. Some maybe stocked a whole bunch of them. Maybe some didn't. You're going to have to order it if you can still get it. Um, like this one, like I said, this is the, a variant cover. Um, as for the price, I actually paid the $4.99 say five dollars I paid cover price now I don't know if it's that easy I, I don't know if some of the his for, for this one there was um, five covers done so I don't know if the prices have gone oh, I know actually yeah, I know prices have gone up but, but again this is on eBay and because uh, I, I was curious since the time it came out in mid-July to now how the prices have gone up and down 
And this one I saw on eBay, I saw a couple of them going for like 15 bucks already. So, you know, from then to now, a $10 hike, I mean, doesn't sound like too much, but it's still you know, 10 bucks. you know. Th th this comic is like, I find the 2014 version of the Death of Superman, pretty much. It has the same buzz and everything, you know, so, anyway. Um, but if you can find it, sure, get it, read it, put it away in your collection, whatever. Um, you don't have to take my word for it, because I mean, this is all based on my thoughts of the story. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Um, also, you don't have to get the variant if you don't want to. It's all a, it's an all, it's all a preference thing. I got it because I like the look of it and everything. You can get the standard cover, standard issue, whatever. Because I mean, there was five five covers done, but on the inside, it's all the same story. So you, you don't have to get the variant. Um, do do I recommend it? Yeah, I I recommend this this story. I I think it's 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 a good read and everything, you know. So so in the end, do I recommend? Uh, do, did I myself like Life of Archie number thirty six? It's got my thumbs up. So moving along, we move to Life with Archie thirty seven. As well, like I said earlier, it's a variant. It's a this is the Jill Thompson variant. The one the variant cover I wanted to get, they didn't have. So they offered me this and I was like, Yeah, what the heck? I didn't mind. Also I paid cover price. Oh, this was also four ninety nine. Um I paid cover price. I wasn't picky, I just I wanted it because to complete the story, you know. So uh again not going to give too much away or anything, but with number 37, th this is the um, the year after story, the year after the death and everything. And um, this is actually more of a flashback story. Is it, you know, the, um, there's an event at the end of the comic, which I won't give away. Um, actually, there's two things at the end of the comic. But anyway, um, so there, 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 there are different flashbacks from like Reggie, Jughead, uh, the girls, you know, Betty, Veronica, obviously. So, and it all ties together in the end of the book. And um, the very last panel of the comic, I really liked because I find it brought it, it's it's like a, a cycle. Everything's coming together, and it looks like it's starting over again. So the ones who actually read it. And you get what I'm talking about, you you know. And to the ones who who are the, the big Archie fans out there who haven't read it, but if you do, and you see the the last pick, you'll know what I'm talking about. I hope. Um. So, like with 36, um, do, do I recommend 37? Yeah, I, I recommend it. Not just because it completes the story, but it's it, it's a it's a good read. Also, I, I I like flashback stories every now and then, you know, not continuous or whatever, you know. But uh, yeah, I, I I liked it a lot as well with issue thirty six. I thought it was good and a good wrap up to everything. So um, again, uh, if if you can find if you can find issue thirty seven. You don't have to get a variant cover, because like with issue 36, five covers were done of 37. Um, get the standard issue, same story, blah, blah, blah. Um, myself, did I like issue 37? Well, like with issue 36, it's a thumbs up from me as well. So, with that being said, that's the end of this review and um, if you guys watching out there if you liked it like it subscribe uh, comment all 
all that fancy stuff. And um, I'm, I'm going to be sticking for now to making two videos a week, preferably Wednesday and Friday. Wednesday being new comic book day, and Friday, or more like Saturday morning, because that's when it'll be up. And um, yeah, so I'm going to stick to it like that. And um, so, till next time, stay tuned, and uh, see ya.